The non-Muslim society can be divided into further three categories. One is the category who is religious. There are in the non-Muslim society. In the Western society, there are, since majority are Christians, there is a small percentage who are religious. They are Christians and they follow the scripture, the Bible. In other societies like in India, where majority are Hindus, there is a small portion, a small percentage of Hindus who are religious, who follow the scriptures. The best way to dawa with these people is Tala Vila Kalmitin Sava Imbaina Bainakum. Come to common terms as we us and you. Which is the first term? Allah Namda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. We have to speak from their scriptures, trying to prove about one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The best thing about dawa, the most important aspect is proving about oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the other aspects are secondary. If you cannot convince a non-Muslim about Tawheed, about monotheism, it is useless. You may speak to him about other aspects of Islam, but if he yet continues doing shirk, it will never be forgiven. Shirk is the biggest sin in Islam, which Allah will never forgive, unless he repented before death. And this way how to do dawah, based on the verse of the Quran, I have dealt in various of my talks, similarities between Islam and Christianity, similarities between Islam and Hinduism, and how to do dawah. For example, living in the Western country, where the majority claim to be Christians, though a small percentage are religious. In bridging the gaps with the Christians, I've given a talk on similarities between Islam and Christianity. 